All right. Now let's talk about projectile motion. Okay. Projectile motion uh, is also called the projectile at an angle. Okay. Uh, whenever he says that pro, uh, an object is thrown at an angle, okay, an angle, uh, the the angle should be around z from zero to ninety degree. Yeah, in between zero and ninety degree, this is a kind of projectile motion. Okay, projectile motion it has uh, two components, the x component and y components. Okay. Uh, it uh, it actually it is a, a kind of motion where these two components x and y components happen simultaneously happen in the at the same time okay uh, as you can see like um, uh, this ball let's say this ball okay it is thrown at an angle theta where theta is between 0 to 90 degree okay when it is thrown uh, like uh, thrown in this direction at uh, at an angle theta okay, this ball will just go in a parabolic arc uh, we call this parabolic arc all right uh, so this uh, parabolic arc or projectile motion is actually a co uh, a combination of uh, two components x and y components okay so uh, this is the x component and this is the y components the x component is actually a constant velocity motion. Okay, constant velocity motion. Later, I will show you a simulation that I built myself. I uh, created a simulation. Uh, uh, I created myself an animation to show you uh, the how is it, uh, what is it really means by projectile motion. Okay, so first of all, I just want to tell you first, the x component is a constant velocity motion. Okay, it moves at constant velocity. As you can see this ball, yeah, it moves at constant velocity. Huh? At constant velocity, uh, why, why we regard the X component as constant velocity? In actual real life, uh, the X component is not constant velocity because it, uh, we have air resistance. Okay, but in, uh, in I ideal case, we just assume we just assume no air resistance okay no air resistance so the x components will uh, will have uh, no resultant force at all yeah? the resultant force in x component is equal to zero okay and that's why the x component is constant velocity okay because no air resistance ah uh, at constant velocity we, we know uh, we know that um, i just want to write it down here when v is equal, when v when velocity is constant, when velocity is constant, acceleration equal to zero. Okay, so for x component, a x equal to zero. Ah. now how about the y component? Y component is not constant velocity. Y component is the the same as a free fall motion. Okay, a free fall motion. In a free fall motion, the velocity is not constant. The velocity is changing. Why the velocity is changing in a free fall motion? Because in Y component it has gravity. Ah, the gravity only affects the gravity only affects the Y component. It won't affect the X component. Okay? The gravity only affects the Y component. Um, that's why you see AX equal to zero because uh, one thing we assume no air resistance, another thing in x component uh, it is it is not affected by gravity because gravity only exists in vertical component okay gravity only exists only only affect the vertical component okay so for the y component it is actually a free fall motion okay uh, and velocity is changing because of acceleration due to gravity so in y component ay is equal to negative g so in other words we can say that um, uh, the y component is exactly the same as the free fall motion we have learned before this uh, we have learned about about the free fall motion you see that ah the, so the y component for this uh, projectile motion is exactly the same as the free fall motion uh, we have learned before Ah, okay. 
So I just want you to bear in mind that projectile motion is a combination of a constant velocity in x component and a free fall motion in the y component and uh, that these two motions happen simultaneously happen at the same time okay so uh, here's there is one simulation I want to show you okay now uh, this is the uh, simulation or animation which I created myself yeah now um, here's the animation that I create ah, okay I created a projectile motion yeah using a software so um, yeah, you see there's a logo yeah, my logo there because I created this okay so you see uh, what can you see from here uh, you see this ball is thrown at an angle so it uh, goes through a projectile motion isn't it projectile motion so you can see this projectile motion is actually a combination of two components the X component and the Y component so can you tell me what is actually the X component in this projectile motion? What can you observe about the project, uh, the X component? The ball move at constant velocity. Ah, they say it move at constant velocity. So acceleration is zero. AX is equal to zero. Ah, it, the X component is constant velocity. How about the Y component? Can you tell me what kind of motion do you see in the Y component? Ah, it is actually a free fall motion, isn't it? You see, it goes up, slowing down, and then going faster, uh, slowing down, and then faster going downward. You see that? It's a free fall motion. Ah, it's a free fall motion. The velocity is changing. Ah, so the y component is a free fall motion, but for the x component, it's move at constant velocity. You see that? It move at constant velocity. So now, and you can see this, all this, the constant velocity and the free fall motion, the, the constant velocity in X component and the free fall motion in Y component and the projectile motion, all of them have the same time. Uh, all of them have the same time. You see that? Uh, so what I can say is um, the time, the uh, one thing you can notice from here is the time. Um, the time in the x component and the time in the uh, y component and the time of the projectile is the same ah the time of the projectile is the same as the time in the x component and also same as the time for y component all these happen simultaneously ah okay ah you see you see the X component begin stop you see that all of them begin at the same time and stop at the same time begin at the same time stop at the same time begin at the same time stop at the same time begin at the same time stop at the same time ah so this constant velocity and the free fall motion happens simultaneously so what can you say about the projectile motion Projectile motion is a combination of a constant velocity in the X component and a free fall motion in the Y component. Ah, okay, I hope you are clear enough. Now, uh, so uh, we can say that um, um, in X component, AX is zero, okay, uh, because uh, no air resistance. The Y component is uh, uh, AY equal to negative G because there's a gravity uh, in the y component okay uh, so uh, okay another thing is uh, since the x component has constant velocity has constant velocity so when the ball uh, the projectile motion the ball reaches the highest point highest point uh, it still has the velocity in x component because all the while in x component the velocity is constant never never decrease or never increase velocity is constant so the ball goes upward until here at the maximum height 
uh, the, the velocity uh, it still have the x component velocity so the velocity and the x component uh, the velocity at this point is only velocity and the x component but the y component velocity is zero because it's just like a free form motion the ball reaches the highest point uh, velocity becomes zero so in y component velocity is zero but the x component the velocity is still the same yeah? because in x component velocity is constant uh, it's the velocity over here is the same as the x component velocity uh, initially okay and in uh, even in the maximum height uh, the acceleration uh, is still negative g uh, acceleration is constant all acceleration is constant uh, throughout the whole motion later i will show you another simulation uh, regarding the velocity and acceleration at different point okay uh, i just want to tell you that at the maximum height here the acceleration is still negative g because even at the maximum height uh, it still experience um, the gravitational pull it still have acceleration due to gravity okay so that's all for uh, these projectile motions